Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be for May 2021, but can resonate really from when I release the readings for so from now till the end of May 2021. So let's pull your overarching energy. This is the Tarot Grand Lux and see what we have for you. Message for Aquarius, thank you. Angel Spirits Guides, Money, Career, Finances. May 2021, please. Thank you. What is the overarching energy? Okay. Oh, okay. So we have two major arcana, the Hierophant and the Moon as your overarching energy. Okay, so a message for Aquarius, please. Money and career only, May 2021, thank you. Two cards. I have fertility, and this is to do with love. Now, in terms of love, it could be something that you love. As we're doing money and career readings, the, the fertility card is a brilliant one. Very much, very much like Empress, the birth of something new. Um, you know, the time to plant new seeds, create something new, embracing new possibilities. And it's to do with something that's very connected to your heart and soul here. So nice energy there. Could also be affecting, I mean, you know, money and career can affect your relationship as well. So angels, what is the message for Aquarius? Thank you. So Aquarius, I have organized for success. Do not let the word organize intimidate you as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. Organizing your thoughts, your reports, your living and your workspace and your finances will help you know and plan your next action steps. Okay, some practical advice there. So Aquarius, the cards are what they are. Let's pull your tarot cards and see what we get. Starting with your challenge position in terms of money, career, finances. What do we have for Aquarius, please? May 2021. Money, career, finances only. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Thank you. Seven of Pentacles in the challenge position. What's going for you? We have the Three of Cups. Wow, lovely. Obstacles to overcome. I've pulled two. Interesting. <laughs> so I've got the Queen of Swords, which could be you or it can be a Libra, you know, um, can be a person or the energy of that card, but it's with the Three of Wands. I've pulled two cards again. Interesting. Um, the advice from Spirit. We have the Ace of Pentacles with the Magician. Wow. That is a nice combination there. And final card, Aquarius, we have the Two of Wands. Okay. Yeah. Seven of Pentacles is a, is a kind of organizing energy, to be honest. Um, Seven of Pentacles is where you're assessing your long-term future what you see as a value to you in your life and what you don't see as value to you in your life. So for example, for some of you who aren't happy with what you're paid um, the, for the work that you do, you might be evaluating your circumstances. I mean, that's just one explanation, you know, of, of what I mean in terms of taking an assessment or taking stock of what's of value to you in your life and what's not. Because it feels for some of you there is the birth of something new here and that's what Spirit is telling you. I'm definitely getting that in this message. Um, can sometimes be a card of perseverance, but it feels in the, in the challenge position it's more about where do I see myself going? You know, where do I see my current situation? Do I see it long term? Because it feels for some of you, you're getting to the point where you want to make some choices, decisions about your future. And I see that happening here. 
um, because you're evaluating things. And generally, this can be a bit of a frustrating energy. And in the challenge position, there are certain things that you don't see, you know, you don't, you don't feel there's enough value there to take forward to your future, but there are certain things that you want to focus on that you will want to take forward. So it feels that there's some kind of taking stock, evaluating how you're moving forward, maybe developing your career path business portfolio you know for example you know it, it might well be if you're taking stock of inventory if you own your own business you know there may well be certain product lines for example that just don't aren't right for you that aren't working so again it can be just you know sifting the wheat from the shaft so to speak it, it might well be you know how i what i take forward and what i don't you kind of get what i'm saying here aquarius because the, the Three of Cups is a reason to celebrate. This is also, for me as a reader, it's a reaping the harvest card because they, these people have worked really hard and you can see the harvest is beginning to come in and it's as a result of the hard work that they've been putting in. It's the feeling of the winter is over, the spring is here and that's the advice from spirit. Now there could be some communication with this. Uh, some communication that's giving you some reason to celebrate as well, Aquarius. So very nice energy there. Because again, this is the obstacles to overcome. You are bringing that sword down. And again, I'm getting this energy. The Queen of Swords is all about truth. She's all about clarity, reason, logic. Um, she has an accountable energy. So she's very accountable for the actions that she takes. You know, and she's she is a visionary energy because it's swords energy, which is to do with the mind, the clarity, our purpose, the decisions that we make. And that sword comes down and it can cut away things that you don't need. How you see your future panning out with the Three of Wands. Um, this is about opening up to... The Three of Wands can be about the beginnings of success coming your way. The first signs of success coming your way. Uh, expansion, growth. To, if you've been taking steps to bring greater success your way, maybe by some evaluation that you've been taking, that is, there's something good coming your way with that Three of Wands energy. But I'm definitely getting in this energy. There has been some kind of evaluation that you're doing where you're taking stock and getting clarity of purpose in what you want to take forward with you and what you don't. I'm definitely seeing those energies tie in very well. Because for some of you, and this is so beautiful, the advice from spirit is you have the magic to manifest the golden opportunity. I mean, this is beautiful. This is a new opportunity for some of you. This could be new jobs, new business opportunities. Um, like I was talking about, even new lines to add that will make, you know, could be making more money. It's the beginnings of abundance, the Ace of Pentacles. Um, and it's the effort, the hard work, the focus that you, you're, what you're focusing on, what is of value to you, what you want to grow. This is the seed card that can really grow into something big. And the magician is you have the power to manifest this. Now, this can be career, financial opportunities, business opportunities, um, very good in terms of uh, moving, relocating as well for some of you. If part of this evaluation is taking stock in terms of where you live as well, there could be some opportunity that might require you to move or relocate as well, Aquarius. But the magician is, wow, this is, this is your time. It's your time to take inspired action and focus on what you want to change from, pace, from base metal to gold. Because Spirit is saying, and this is the advice from Spirit section, you are the alchemist of your life. You have the power by your resources, your talent, your focus, your mental acuity to work your magic in manifesting this golden opportunity. Very beautiful energy, new paths, new beginnings, new additions, call it what you will. Um, but it's the beginnings of abundance, nevertheless. It, it feels if you're going, again, communication energies with the magician, there could be some positive communication as well with regard to some opportunity. Um, again, tying in with this Three of Swords, we've got a lot of mercurial energy in this reading. 
So uh, just say three, three of cups. Um, yeah, we've got a lot of mercurial energy in this reading, which can be about communication. And for some of you, this is the choice. This is choices that you're making about your future, being ready to make choices about your future. And here's the interesting thing, and this is why I do like Ride Away at the best, because, you know, this person has the world in their hands, so they're ready. They're ready to make the choice or decision, choose their path. Uh, it could be between two opportunities, two paths unfolding for you, but this person has already got hold of one wand. They've made their decision about their future. And it feels for some of you, you're ready to step into the unknown. You know, the two of wands is all about choices about how you see your future, future direction unfolding. And I'm definitely getting in this energy. There's a shiny new beginning coming your way or a shiny new opportunity, new path coming your way. Um, it just feels very beautiful. And it's something very connected to your heart and soul the birth of something new as well. It could bring a sense of renewal in terms of love, romance, relationships here, Aquarius. So I'm going to look at these cards because, you know, the, on the one hand, you know, the Hierophant is all about having faith. Uh, sometimes appears when we're searching for meaning, wanting spiritual answers. This can be about having faith. Um, because there is an energy of surrender with the moon card. When we don't have clarity, this is just surrender, trust that you are being watched over guided, even though you don't see, you know, for whatever period this is, you know, maybe while you're taking stock. Um, I definitely feel there's a newfound clarity coming your way, but there's definitely this energy of lack of clarity to begin with, with the moon energy. Um, I'm taking stock because I don't know, I'm unclear about how something's going to pan out. Um, and there is just an energy of trust, have faith. This is a card of hidden blessings. You don't see the big picture, but the universe does. And you're being told to absolutely have faith here. Now, it's also an intuitive energy of trusting your instinct because that's how angel spirits guides guide you. So may well be in terms of these decisions and choices, if it's in line with what your instinct is telling you, it's the right choice for you. And this Hierophant energy is also Taurus. And Taurus is a great energy. And we've got Saturn in Taurus here, what you're evaluating. This is very much to do with stability, security, safety, success. as a Taurian energy. You can see the four pillars there. Um, Definitely this energy of stability, security, safety. So for some of you, if you're taking stock or evaluating how to bring greater opportunity reward into your life, the message is have faith. You are absolutely being guided. Trust your instinct, your intuition on where you place your focus because you have the magic to manifest the gold. It's pure alchemy this month. You are the alchemist. And for some of you, it's ending with some kind of reason to celebrate and maybe some kind of choice about your future. Um, but it feels an empowered energy. These are growth cards, the two of wands, the three of wands, in a way you see your future unfolding and growing. Yeah. Future success as well, where you see the future success lying. So I'm going to pull a final card. Final message for Aquarius, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Final message for Aquarius, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> giraffe, the bigger picture. Take a step back and gather your thoughts and feelings. And I feel that moon energy. I feel things will become clear to you, but there is some evaluation. Um, it's the, the pentacles are very factual, you know? It deals with the facts, the detail, the practicalities, what you see before you is the pentacles energy. So I, I definitely feel that this is a grounded energy dealing with the facts. And it feels like things become clear to you, Aquarius, things that haven't been clear. It definitely feels like there is a newfound clarity with that Queen of Swords on where you see this future lying and unfolding. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.